My name's Tim Houck, and here we have Julie Noli. She's a fifth grade girl who is coming to talk with me in the counselor's office. Hi, Julie. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Well, that doesn't sound like you're doing good. Well, How are you? Doing good. You know, the kids that's in the recess, they're not being very nice to me. What do they do? I just feel like they're not playing with me, and I come to school. Is it those same girls you talked about earlier? Yeah, it's the same ones. They just, I, I follow them and I tell them I want to play, and they're just not letting me play. I told the recess teacher, mm -hmm. and she's just not listening to me. The girls, now remind me of their names. It's um, Jessica, Jessica, and Jennifer, Jennifer, and Kaya. Kaya. And those three girls are in your class too? They're in my class too. Jessica, I remember those girls. Yeah. Um, what kind of things do you want to play with them? Well, really, they, they're just they're playing on the teeter totters, and there's four spaces, and there's only three of them, and I wanted to be on the other side of teeter totter, mm -hmm. and they're just not letting me. Like I, I know that they need another person, and they're not letting me get on it with them, and so I feel like they're not. I don't want to be my friend. Is this the only place where they're like that? Do they? How about in class? Are they? Do they like? In well, class? sometimes when we line up to go do something, like to go to to PE and music and library, like they'll be, I will want to jump in their conversation, and I tell them, make a funny joke, and they don't even laugh, and then they just kind of turn their backs to me. Hmm. And that, but that kind of hurts your feelings. Yeah, because I just want to be friends with them and. I don't know what else I can do. They don't want to be friends with me. And I told the teacher, and she she just gave me, told me to keep trying, and and that it's good that I be myself. So mm -hmm. I'm trying to do that, but I just don't think it's working. Mm -hmm. What? Um, so on your way to class, like PE and lunch. What about? Um, while you're working in class like when your teacher says okay pair up with a partner or you know sit down and do a buddy read um do you ever get to be with them well see that's the thing is there's three of them so there should be a partner for me but they seem to they want to just do a three part three partner and you can't do three partner that's what the rules are you're supposed to have four and they always find somebody else and then i'm all by myself and then my teacher has to give me a partner. And usually it's a boy. The one that always picks his nose. <laughs> so well, I told her that he picks his nose and she just doesn't listen to me. Some it's, boys are like that. I remember when I was a boy. I, I think it's funny though when he tells teacher tells him he has to go wash his hands. <laughs> yeah. Because it's kind of gross, right? Yeah. But I really want those girls to be my friends. What about the other girls? Do they do this to the other girls in class too? I think so. I think so. I think they just want to be three friends mm -hmm. and, not, and not let me play. Do you, you think that these three girls, they're being friends with the, each other and not with you? How do you think the... Is there any other girl that's trying to get into that friendship as well? Like... Um, Lucy's in your class too, mm -hmm. right? Does she, she or any of the other girls, do they try to get into that friendship with those three? Mm, I don't remember. I think that they, maybe, maybe they try and they just want to be free, three friends. So, I don't know, maybe they live by each other. Mm -hmm. And I don't live over there, I live in an apartment, so. Oh, okay. So that maybe is why is they live close to each other. I think those three do ride the bus together. Um, and yeah, and, and my uncle picks me up, I think, sometimes. Sometimes I walk. Okay, yeah, that could be. They get to spend a whole lot more time together, and then they probably get together after school and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I was just thinking because I saw other kids come to lunch with you before mm -hmm. that 
maybe I can do that too, and we can have lunch together, and then they can see that I'm cool. Which lunch are you at? You're at the second lunch? I'm the second lunch. Okay. I'm the one at 11. 11 o'clock, yeah. okay. That's kind of early for lunch. Not, I mean, I'm not saying that I can't eat or lunch that early, but I, lunch sometimes is later. Yeah. Can we schedule a time where we can all yeah. come, even if it's not sure. during lunch? Do you know what? I, I'm having lunch tomorrow. That would be fun. Yeah, I have lunch lots of days. Well, we, we can all have lunch together. What if you ask a friend, not one of the three girls, ask a friend to join us tomorrow at lunch? That would be fun. Maybe I can ask Lucy, because she always tries to get in that group, too. You know what I noticed? That Lucy and I, we like pink together. Pink? Pink together. Like you like to wear pink, or you like the the singer pink? No, the color. The color the pink. Color, oh, the color. The color pink. Because I know I wanted one day to dye my hair pink, and my mom said no. Really? Yeah. You know, my my daughter wanted to dye her hair pink, and... What did you say? We said not right now. And why did you say that? Well, we said not right now because there, uh, she was doing it just to copy a friend that she saw at school. And she had never talked about it, but one day we, when we picked her up from school, she said, look, I, I can't remember the girl's name, look at her hair, I want to dye my hair pink, I want to dye my hair pink. And we thought, well, let's just think about this a little bit because she, she um, I think she was doing it just to copy her friend. And she grew up and she said, uh, you know, I, I've always wanted to dye my hair, and then she actually, she just did dye her hair pink, but she's an adult now, and lives How does it look? Does it look awesome? You know what? That is a good question, whether it looks awesome. I think she loves it. She loves it. That's cool. I wish my mom would let me do it. You know why sometimes moms say no? Why is that? Sometimes moms or dads say no for a, a whole bunch of reasons. Sometimes they say no because they don't want to take the time. They know that it's going to be a lot of work on their part, and so they say no. And it could be for, for any, anything. Sometimes parents say no because they know that the person they're saying no to, and I'm not saying this about you, the person they're saying no to um, can't handle whatever it is that they're saying no to. Like say, um, another one of my daughters, she wanted to um, drive the car one day. She was 12. I said That no. would be cool. I, it would be cool, but I said no. Do you know why? Why is that? Well, one, it's against the law because she doesn't have her driver's permit or her license. Another is that she was, wouldn't be safe. So, yeah. I, so sometimes they say parents say no because it's um, going to be a lot for them to do, a lot, a lot of responsibility that they don't have time to take care of right then. Um, maybe they say no because it's too much responsibility for you. Sometimes they say no because it's an easy answer to say, and sometimes they say no because they have done something similar to that before and they know that that's not a good idea. I'm not saying that about, I don't know why well, Maybe if I wore no, my pink hair, my mom said yes for me my pink hair, then Jessica and Jennifer and Kaya would want to play with me more on a teeter-totter. None of them have, I'm just, I'm wondering out loud, none of them have No, but they might like hair. pink like me. They do like pink? They might, oh. I don't know because they won't let me be in their group. They just buy them three cells okay. all the time. Do you know anybody with pink hair? No, but I can be the one with pink hair. I would really like that. You think so? I think so. You know what? Do you think people would laugh at you if you had pink hair? I never thought about that. I'm sure some might think it's unusual, but some might think, hey, that's really cool. Maybe they would copy me, and then I wouldn't be too happy about that. That happens. <sighs> well, if 
feel better because I'm going to have lunch with you tomorrow. Do you know what's for lunch tomorrow? I don't know. Probably cheese pizza again. They have that a lot, don't they? <laughs> they do. <laughs> cheese but pizza you, is not my favorite. Today they had chicken fries with tater tots. But my mom sent me with spaghetti, so I didn't get any. So what are you going to bring tomorrow? Do you think you should send something with you tomorrow? Probably spaghetti again, because there was a lot of it. Okay. And that's my favorite. I like spaghetti, but I'll see what they're having. Maybe I'll bring something from home tomorrow, too. We could both yeah, bring lunch from home. Yeah, maybe, maybe you can bring spaghetti, too. That means I have to make some tonight. Well, I could bring the Parmesan cheese. I like cheese. Here we go. I'd get a chocolate milk, too. Yeah, that costs 35 cents. Does it? Yeah. Oh, I should ask before I start taking it, I guess. So, tomorrow we're going to have lunch. Tomorrow's lunch. With Lucy. With Lucy, yeah. we got to invite her. Okay. we got to tell her that we're having lunch. Before Bring you spaghetti. Leave. Bring spaghetti. <laughs> We're, having, we're inviting you to lunch. You bring the spaghetti. Okay, before you leave, I want you to write her a note, okay? Okay. We're, we're, we're going to eat at that, uh, the table that's over by the, uh, the gym door. Okay, how do you spell Lucy? L-U-C-Y. Okay, Lucy, have lunch with us and bring spaghetti. <laughs> you Did you like that? I, I think okay. she will think, I don't even like spaghetti. That's mm. what she'll probably say. Well, we can just say bring whatever your mom sends you. Does she bring her own lunch or does she get a hot lunch? I don't know. She never sits at my table, but I can I can watch her today. Okay. Oh, wait. I'll watch what she brings for a snack. And then if she if she brings snacks, sometimes that, that means she has lunch. Okay. So, have lunch with me. And? And Mr. Hauk. C-K. Yes. Hauk. Tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow. I love your creativity there. Yeah, sometimes I forget how to spell tomorrow. That's okay. But it's okay, right? That's what teachers are for, to help you learn things like that. we got to put love, Julie. And you made a nice heart there. I did. Because we're going to be friends, Lucy Good. and me. And it's kind of pink. It's my favorite color. Didn't you remember? I'd forgotten that. Yeah, because that's I'm gonna I'm gonna color my hair pink one day. Yeah, and I'm gonna have a lot of friends. Yeah, I bet you do have friends right now. Is Lucy a friend? You think? I think I think so. She's gonna have lunch with me. Good. What would you? How would it make you feel if somebody else wanted to have lunch with us too? I would. Uh, that would be fun. Okay. What would but who have? else would we ask? Well, I was just wondering if somebody saw us and wanted to sit and have lunch with us. I'm friends with all the kids in my class. What about Jennifer and Kaya and Jessica? The, yeah, that would be cool. Yeah. I think I think Lucy would like that too, because she she wants to be their friends too. That's just the three of us right now. If somebody else wants to join us, that's okay. Okay. And tomorrow is Thursday. Yeah, because if I forget to give this to her today, tomorrow will be Friday. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so I got it right. Mistake. Well, you need to make sure you give it to her today. I will, right when I leave. Okay. Okay. Um, but when you get to, maybe not right when you get to class. Because kind of like a secret? Make, well, you don't want to make it look like you're passing notes in class. Oh, yeah. Because your teacher doesn't like that yeah. so much. Even when we have snack and we go to our backpacks to get our snack. Okay. All right. 
So um, I see that we've been here for just over 15 minutes, and it is time for you to go back to class. All right. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for coming in.